Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. My name's Tammy. So you remember that that was going around, you know, a few years ago? <laughs> I still have to wear a mask at work. When that happened, I decided that I wanted to gift the nurses of the hospital that I work at a cream. I got a recipe from Marie at Humble Be and Me. It's a Shalo cream. So Shalo is a way of saying that is a high percentage of shea and aloe. She, I think, did a be better version of this cream. This is the original cream that she posted, I don't know how many years ago. So I did this in like 2020 is when I made this early 2020. So it's been a good three years. So three years ago, guys, <laughs> I, okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> When I made this, I increased the batch size by a lot because I was making a lot. It called for 69 grams of satyryl alcohol. So I didn't have 69 grams of satyryl alcohol. I had 18 grams of satyryl, but I had plenty of cetyl. So I thought, ah, you know, there's only one or two letters difference in the names. They gotta be close, right? <laughs> Stick with me. <laughs> so I used in the batch size, whatever batch size that is, because I don't remember, 18 grams of satyryl and 51 grams of cetyl instead of 68 grams of satyryl. They are not the same. They don't do the same. They are 100% not the same product and not interchangeable. Something I know now that I did not know then. <laughs> oh, heavens. So. They loved it. This cream was so thick. It was like, guys, it was thick. I can't even describe, you'll, you will see because I am redoing this cream the way I made it, <laughs> okay? These nurses loved this cream. They loved it. And I have a nurse that I work with now that she's been using this cream like this in the last few months, she found it in the back of a drawer. And at first when she started using it, it was, it was fine. And we all kind of like would dip into it and you put it on like your, it, it's definitely a spot cream. It's not like an all over hand and body cream. It's definitely a cream for spots because it is that thick. <laughs> But she, the more she dug into it and was using it, the more it didn't smell very good. <laughs> it is old. <laughs> it's three years old. I was like, Becky, stop using that cream. Make some more and I will. <laughs> so I'm making some more so we don't have to smell that cream that she refuses to not use because she loves it that much. These nurses loved it, guys. So I'm going to give you my recipe, which is Marie's recipe with just those little changes that I did. And let's see how thick this cream can be. I'm gonna market it as a spot cream for an, an intensive moisturizing spot cream. It is not a hand cream. It is not, you know, a body cream. It would be for knuckles or elbows or dry patches or anything like that. That's what this cream is for. And this is really a great, great cream for those areas. So I hope you stay tuned to watch. For our first ingredient, we're gonna add some water and I'm gonna put 68 grams in here. Um, let me put my glasses on maybe. <laughs> that would probably help. 169 grams of aloe vera liquid. Ugh, I hate it when there's just one gram left. <laughs> so next is the glycerin. This is a humectant. I'm gonna add 28 grams. All right, so next we're gonna add some DL Panthenol. This is our vitamin B5. It gets kind of chunky. I do have these little packets in here to try to help keep the humidity down. Oops, gosh, I do that kind of stuff all the time. I'm kind of a messy maker, if you didn't know that already. And then the last thing in our heated water phase, is our colloidal oats. And those both were 11 grams each, DL panthenol and colloidal oats. I'm gonna weigh this 
is 603. Where's my bin? And I'm also going to cover it with some cling wrap. Try to keep as much of that in as I can. That will limit the water loss. I'm going to get this heating in a double boiler on my back counter, guys. Okay, so while that is heating up, we are going to get our heated oil phase going. First thing in there is emulsifying wax. I use standard e-wax from Soper's Choice. And 68 grams. Next, I'm going to be adding 152 grams of shea butter. So the shea butter takes up uh, almost 27% of this recipe. That's a significant part of the recipe. That with the 30% aloe vera juice, we're looking at, that is why this is called a shalo cream. It is, it is high, high percentage. There's no other oils or, or butters or anything in this. I'm gonna be putting some dimethicone in here, just 17 grams of that. I need to order. I am getting quite low. All right, guys. <laughs> Satiral and Cetal. They are quite different. <laughs> Let's see. I need Satiral. I just need seven grams of this. And originally, that was 100% of these two. Um, and I need 21 grams of cedar. So that is the heated oil phase. So I'm going to get these heated up and up to temp and we'll just come back at the end of that and see where we're at. All right, so they are both about 175 to 180 and I'm going to go ahead and pour my water phase into my oil phase. I did top this off, guys, with, uh, it was about four grams shy of the water. So I did give it, give it those grams back. Okay, it's time to blend. So I'm going to blend this up here for probably two or three minutes and then set it aside and blend again for two or three minutes until it is cooled down. Make sure this is down low. I have this now down under 120 degrees and in my pot here I have one gram of lavender, no, five grams of lavender and one gram of geranium essential oil with my liquid dermal plus. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there. Oh, and there's also some calendula extract in this as well. Calendula extract is super calming and soothing, calendula is. Um, anytime you want to make something either calming or soothing to the skin, I think calendula extract is the way to go. I'm gonna get this blended in really well. You can tell it's starting to thicken up. Again, this is super, super thick. <laughs> Super thick. So let me see if I can get that blended up really well. All right. It's starting to thicken up. It's going to be hard to get into pots probably. I forgot how thick this was. All right, this is gonna be difficult, but I am gonna to try to get two ounces in each of my jars. It doesn't pour out of this uh, beaker very well, so I'll probably just pour off the scale and adjust what's in the pots after I'm done kind of pouring the bulk of it. I think that might be easier.
how thick this is. Can you see how thick that is? I don't know if you'll, you'll be able to see. So it got so thick and it is still warm. It's still, you know, 95, I guess. Um, I'm going to take my heat gun and try to melt just the top of this and smooth this out without trying. I'm going to watch the temperature to make sure it's not too hot. Shoot, I forgot to check the pH. I'm also going to check the pH. So let's see what the pH is. Hopefully that's okay. Here I am. I just had made a comment in one of my recent videos how much better at checking pH than I ever used to be. And here I am forgetting to check the pH on this cream. And I don't know if I ever did when I made it. Probably not several years ago. So let's see. All right, I have a pH of six. I would have preferred it to be five and a half, but I think it's okay. I think I'm gonna be happy with six and glad I don't have to rejar those or do anything crazy with those jars. Learn my lessons. Check pH before I jar the things up. That would have, that's so thick though. I just don't know <laughs> if, uh, if that was crazy thick trying to get those in the jars. I will just make a note to maybe put a little bit of a buffer in there next time I make it so that that will be a little bit lower. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be happy with six at this point, guys. <laughs> All right, these are cooled off now to room temperature. And I just want you to see, this is going to be my like little tester. Can you see how thick that is? Guys, it's so thick. It's, it's like so thick. But I was at a craft show yesterday and my hands are completely torn apart from loading my car. Uh, I didn't have any help. My husband was out of town. I was banging my fingers like crazy. I was just, just going to put too much. And I have all kinds of dry patches and rough spots on my hands. I have a little cut right over here. I'm just, they're just like horrible right now. So I'm just going to show you how this rubs in. It's very thick. It's slightly draggy. But it rubs right in. And man, it feels good. Let me get this side. Do the other side of my little stick here. I'm going to try to keep this clean. This is my sample pot, so. Oh, it just feels so good. It really does. It is not greasy. You would think with all that shea butter, there may be some greasiness to it. It's really not. It's lovely. And it feels so nourished and right now. All right, guys, I'm going to get them labeled and we'll show you what they look like once I come up with a label, which means I need to go on camera and get some designing going. Okay, here is my Shalo jar. And it is for intensive moisture cream dry skin relief is what I'm calling this. So I have these little, I think they're two by two by two boxes. I had these things for years and had no, could not figure out what I would ever do with these. They were gifted to me. Uh, and then I realized that I could put my macaroon, bath bomb macaroons in there and my bubble scoops. And now any two ounce drawer that I have fits in here perfectly. And then I have this label that I have uh, this line here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I have this line that I put right in the middle of this four by one and a half inch label. And that way, uh, that's my guide to know. I'm a little off, but that's my guide to know where to put the, the fold on my boxes. 
That was not a very good example though because I was off. But I have my face scrubs in these boxes now and these, I'm it's like before long I'm gonna have to buy more. <laughs> and I have them for years. <laughs> Let me see if I can do better on this. There, that's much better. That's how it's supposed to be. Right there on the edge, it's perfect. All right guys, picture taking time. I'm gonna get these upstairs and then we'll finish the video. So guys, it's been another week and uh, have I taken pictures yet and put these on my website? No, I haven't. Then I realized I don't have two of my candles on my website. My cream that I did a couple weeks ago now, um, I put on my website and then forgot to put my inventory. So I, it looked like it was sold out. I'm a mess. I've just been a mess this week. <laughs> my creams are done. I am going to get pictures taken today. I'm going to finish a couple little outros and then I am taking pictures and getting this on my website. So here's the finished product. There you go. There's the box. You can see that and the little cream. I gifted this to Becky at work and uh, she is very happy. I just need to hide the old one from her because she doesn't want to waste it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so she's insisting on using the old one now still. She has them both on her desk. <laughs> I'm going to have to hide it from her. <laughs> so guys, I am going to try to find that original Shalo version that I used and link that down below. That was Marie at Humble Be Me. I will also try to find her Be Better version and link that down below. If I can find all of that, I will. And then um, I will just let you know also down below my recipe to where the tweaks that I made. And uh, let you have that as well so you have lots of things to look at there. Thanks for watching. I so, so much appreciate you and the time you've given me. Appreciate it. So I am going to get off here, take some pictures, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>